It's a hot August afternoon and I'm called out to a customer's house uh, here in southern Connecticut. Uh, the report is of these big bees swarming around this uh, elm tree uh, in their yard. And uh, I come out here and to my amazement I see literally hundreds of cicada killers uh, from the bottom of the tree all the way up maybe 40 feet off the ground all the way around the tree and they're apparently here uh, to lap up something that's oozing out of the tree. I suppose it's some kind of uh, uh, syrup or uh, some kind of an ooze that they just find irresistible. They're also very competitive with each other as well as the other species of wasps that are on the tree. There's uh, there were some yellow jackets here, ball-faced hornets, uh, bumblebees, honeybees. They were all here to uh, uh, share in the uh, the nectar, if you will, from the tree. Uh, the cicada killers were definitely dominant here. They pushed uh, any other wasp uh, out of their way at will because they are up to two inches long and they dwarf uh, most other species. Here you can actually see them fighting over this little honey hole and a little uh, yellow jacket trying to get in on the action, but <laughs> not successful at all. And here's a ball-faced hornet getting pushed out of the way. And uh, back to lapping up the uh, this delicious juice. You can see them just fighting with each other, just pushing each other out of the way. There's that ball-faced hornet trying to get back in on the action.